Welcome back. This is Reich. Last time we did that one episode that was basically filler, but here we go. Brand new world under the looming shadow of a giant thing absorbing everything around itself in space. We got like a giant devourer monster Pac-Man thing, purple eating everything. Chapter 6-1, the Samur guy showdown. I like the pun. I also like this. This is one of my favorite like, worlds in general. Mostly because it's, I guess, I, th I mentioned it before, it's kind of like similar to Rock Hawk in that you have to fight a lot of people, and I think it's really cool. It's basically like another version of a pit of 100 trials, basically, to fight. And so, let's see here. Got an exclamation point. I am looking at that. That is humongous. Um, we must be very, very close, as it just said, literally, so... What I'm going to want is a uh, carry, because we're going to be getting carried all the way over here. So, uh, let's talk to this, this Samurai Guy's Palace. That was pretty damn descriptive. Um, this is pretty much a no-nonsense kind of world. Um, it's pretty straight to the point. I don't know what I'm going to do about episode length. Maybe do some doubles. Um, I yield. Oh god, he's parking. Or no, he's letting the other traffic go in front of him. I am shammed. How dare you get shammed? And so, it is I, ha ha! It does really have kind of like a generic, stereotypical French look to him with the mustache and the rapier esque sword. But, um, I'm crazy because I'm wearing red. Come on, man. The Jade Blooper. Okay. Hacha! So, round one fight. That was really late, but. Oh man, dude, he's effing me up. And he, he has like an anti-air attack. But if you jump high, he always attacks beforehand, so... I probably should have came in here with full health. Uh, yeah, I'm greater, so... My skills are pretty damn good. So... What I guess now is where they're gonna explain it. And it's a guy literally made of a crown. Um, I don't know how he exists. Um, he also has facial hair as well. Uh, Asian styled, but um, martial artistry. I mean, I guess that's a thing that it can be of, but oh, he is the king. I'm the current. So <laughs> he's showing me his treasure. May or may not be sexually implicit. Um, I didn't see the color of the pure heart. It looked bluish, but I thought it'd be it's supposed to be purple. So I got to beat basically everybody in this tournament. So kind of know how it goes. Um, the world will soon be devoured. It's got to be stopped. But dog. He keeps reading, but come on. The greatest hero is me. Come on. I just want to play the game. I can't keep improv off of... Oh, Jesus Christ. I got to beat all of them. Hail Samer. So, we got about a hundred dudes, and we got to go through all of them. So... Here they go as they march towards formation and uh, let the tournament, the tournament has begun, whatever. So we got this Yu Yu Hakusho tournament arc, I just want to get it underway, um, we're about to just dunk it out. And I believe Tippy has different, like the stats for every enemy, but I kind of don't care about that and it's going to kind of slow us down because I have to freaking change it every time. So. Here I'm just going to hop on carry all the way over there, and so this is the, does, is he not going to say his name? No, he's just going to speak in waves, literally. Round two, fight, is he the exact same thing? And so, oh, oh, double damage, double damage. You got to just be a little bit more careful, but see, nothing to worry about at all. So, oh, okay, so... There's also another way that you can do this, which I find kind of cheesing it a bit, is that you get Bowser and you just fire breathe them since they can't attack from a distance. I think it's kind of lame, but I may have to do that as my HP dips into lower numbers. And oh, you can tell he's very clearly different. He is the Puffing Fist. Um, he's probably going to be a bit stronger. Maybe three damage? I don't know. Oh, he can jump. Oh, Jesus, one damage. He's one damage machine, but he can jump. But he's also dead. So I assume these guys have about 20 health. Um, I kill them in three jumps. It's not the hardest thing in the world, unless I've been miscounting and it's been four. 
in which case I'd guess I have 25 health because who the hell gives the enemies like the freaking weird ass health numbers? I never understood that when like an like, enemy boss has 378 health or 16,432. It's like, what the hell? And oh, the flightless bird. I am squatting birdo. I did not know he is Native American. Um, can this guy jump as well? He said flightless. Oh, oh god, he, he's got he's got buds. He's got buds. We're gonna catch it. Oh, not him. I wanted to catch the bud. I want to catch the bud, dog. No, okay. So here we go. Trying to catch the bud. No, we're not. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So, oh Jesus, it's just man. That was a waste of like, like, hundred forty something coins because I thought there were seventy each. And yeah, you got hot egg on your face too. So that was the fourth guy, and we are six minutes in. I'm probably gonna. I mean, nah. So, oh, ooh. So, catching a jumping fish with your bare hands. I am leaping cheap. This is really funny. Oh, okay. Okay. So what? What you gotta do is here is turn into a giant dude who can. Be, yeah. See, they got AI specifically to fight that. But that's so cheap, and it's assumed that you fight them with fire. Um. Because you can't really hit him with anything jumping, so I guess we're sticking with the Bowser strat for now. Um, I really do like that each of these guys has like a unique pseudo personality to him. So this is like the same guy I already fought before. I consider this haiku a challenger comes. Oh, wiggly wiggle dog! Oh god, Master Wiggler! Master Wiggler joins the fight, and then Smash Bros. logo thing here. Like, look, look at this dude. They got AI. They got AI. They got IA, and it's pretty easy to still hunt them. So, and that probably blew way too much into the mic. So let's just keep on going forward. We're just gonna bounce. Bowser just has completely different physics on carry. It's kind of weird. You would think it'd be different. I'm tired of this beeping, so we're gonna do something about that. Uh, it bleep. This should do enough. I don't, don't think I have to worry about poison. So. We're just gonna like 360 hop, and it's this guy. Ooh, he has a mustache. You know he's stronger now. He's the shoe of Karibo. Oh god, he's, is he gonna jump? Because if he doesn't jump, it's gonna be a buzzkill. Um, so you just wait till he gets close, and then do that. It's kind of easy to fake out the AI because they aren't fast enough to completely avoid it. So you crush out my stomp out, crack out, costume evolve. So. Uh, wow, only eight minutes so far of recording. This is gonna get pretty repetitive pretty quick. So, um, you fry now. Um, I am the guy who fry. The dripping magma punch. Okay, that's just funny. That's really funny. He's blue, so he jumps, right? He has to be able to jump. Uh, we're just gonna bust some heads. Uh, no, he's just super slow. That's. Yeah, God damn it. There's like. <clears throat> So, uh, I just want something cool to do, but this is gonna probably not be that fun to watch, I guess. But we're gonna go on to the guy number nine, mighty number, cyborg zero zero, Yeezy, um, the screaming mantis. This isn't even a Mario reference anymore. They're just saying random Asian stereotypical names. So hold down. Oh, you can tell this guy's quick. Click on his back dash, but he's also not quick enough to evade flame. So as he fillets lame, we're going to grow horse. Ah, oh, I do. Why are you called the screaming mantis? Mantises don't even scream. I'm sorry for this Jerry Springer ass joke, but like, goddamn, like, at most they do is to get their heads eaten. And oh, okay, we got we got a big one. We got a big one. Um, the young bloom poking. Um, Koopa in winter again. Native American. So we're just gonna run away at first, like. Oh Jesus, he got range, dude. He literally did he just hover? He just hovered, and one more should do it. And yeah, that was 42 damage. So I assume he had 40 health, or he had 30. We never know. So yeah, that dude. You, if I'm Bowser, I cannot evade that like at all. So let's just. Uh, Should I just start cutting it in between the fights? I think I'm gonna. So, 
Here, we got a blue guy, the 11th gate, the footsteps of coins. Come on, man. So, uh, coin, coinage is what you are. ka -ching, dog. Um, all I want to do is bang, 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 bang. Oh, oh, he, he got the better of me. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into right up in his face. Okay, he has AI to dodge that, and what we need is something that can, we're going to get, we're going to get this. Okay, uh, 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 there we go. May have used this a bit early. Yeah, I'm invincible. Yeah. So now we're going to cheese him out because he can't do anything. And so while we basically used like a one-time item I probably should have saved, you know, we're just going to have to deal with it because there ain't much else to do. So let's go on to the next guy. So here we are, guy number 12, Urchin Lung. Um, fool! Uh, this is a little bit reminiscent of somebody from a soul-eating game I played. I'm still invincible? Wow, I thought I totally thought that ran out. Uh, oh, it did. Okay, there we go. A cramp. I yield. So, what does he have to say? Anything? No? Okay. So we got this red guy. He's like, go, 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 and he's the crow who eats. He's red, so he clearly has different AI, and he's probably really strong. Strongagoo. But he can't really outspeed Foya. Oh god, Sonic Wave, Sonic Wave, Sonic Wave. Uh. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was, that was a bit, that was a bit of a panic mode. Um, I didn't know how much, I thought I had four health. Did I have? Okay, I had two health. That was not good. Before going into this one, I'm going to use the Ultra Shroom Shake. There's pretty much no other time better to use it. I probably should have been way more prepared going into here. No, he has the he has the mustache. Um, the Fourteenth Gate. You shall not grass, grass, pass. Let us fight. Oh, these puns are killing me, literally. Uh, so he's meant to be breathed on with fire, and so I did. There ain't much more to that story. Man, this guy's dropping rhymes like I drop lines. God, dog, man, you can't do this. Okay, this should be the 14th guy? Um, 15th? Okay, this, I am slipping grip. I am shitting shit. So, Slaptology. This guy, freaking Goldeneye 007, slappers only, trained for years upon years in a mountain. So, can you jump? I'm gonna assume no, he does not have the mad hops. So, grip, slipping, slip, gripping. Um, yeah, so, sweaty. Okay, that's funny. Um, so here we are. They're at the 16th dude. So I defeated your brother. I am the second most famous. Ha ha ha! I am Clint. Oh my god. This is genuinely funny. Like, you don't see this kind of humor in a lot of games. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I've been had. So what we need to do is reorganize. Reorganize. When he gets close enough to breathe fire on, he tends to... Okay. Yeah, you gotta catch him. You gotta catch him at the right time. So, they have AI. They have really well-programmed AI, and I like that, but sometimes you just gotta, you gotta think around it. So here we are. This is the 17th person. The Forbidden Slap. The former top sl Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, God. He is slaptastic. Is he gonna jump? No, he doesn't jump. So... Yeah, that's not the hardest fight in the world. Again, you can, you really can you cheese this out pretty well with Bowser. So, I'm fe oh, oh God, brother, um, oh God, there, why have you left your gates? This is, oh, oh no, an advanced sweaty palm belt. This is, this is fuck. This is funny. I don't care what other people say about other games. This is how you do humor in games. Like, kids would laugh at this. I'm laughing at this, and I'm a grown-ass adult. Maybe I got the mind of, like, a 12-year-old, but, like, come on. Oh, Jesus, what have we gotten ourselves into? This is not... This is not good. Uh, Harry answered... God damn it. Um, this is gonna end bad. I already know it. He's gonna be, like, super strong or something, or super fast. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, well, he also freaking has a long jump of, like, 22 meters. Holy shit, did you not see him fly into the air? Jesus. So here we are. Another mustachioed, still looking impenetrable person. Another castle stands vigil. Oh my god. Like, games don't do that usually. And I like that. And yeah, this guy's a slow guy, so he's gonna get breathed on pretty easy. 
Yeah, pretty much every time, like, while they do avoid your flames, and most people would not think about how to get around that, but, uh, oh, oh god, he went there. Pretty much if you just let them, oh god, what have I done? Uh, pretty much if you just let them try to jump over you, you will always, um, or they just catch them when they jump. Kind of like in real fighting games, you gotta, you can, uh, is he gonna hit me? Is he gonna smack me as I run away? So, this is how you cheese him out. Oh, Ultrum, that's pretty good. Uh, is, is this gonna kill him? So, he extended his hitbox, I would assume. Oh my god, look how huge that thing hits from. Oh, nope, same health, I assume. Or, if the other one was 30, this one could have been 40. I don't know, I can't assume these names. Why do you not squish for Rolling Thwomp? Oh god. Oh, what what's going on? Oh, it's getting bigger. It's getting huger. That's worrisome. Uh, alrighty. We're just gonna keep moving forward. Um, I'm going as fast as I can. Man, I don't want to save her shit, dog. Like, who are you? And what have you done with me? Oh, it's Count Black. I, th I legitimately thought it was Dementio. Uh, so. <laughs> I'm usually the chaos here, and I like butter and mayonnaise on my potato chips, and so you question me. So, you know what the dark prognosticus dude is? Man, that is horrible. I scoff at you, man. I bite my thumb. I am mercurial. I am like eight different references I'm trying to make at once that I can't think of. You're wrong and sick, dog. You need to go to a doctor. You clearly have a fever of 189 degrees Kelvin, which is not a fever at all. You are dead. You are like double dead if you have that. Don't ever get your head to 189 degrees Kelvin. Timpani. Um, ooh, that's a hint. That's a hint. That's a hint. So, um, bleh, heh, heh, dog, I'm just trying to fight a tournament, man. Oh, dears. World goes squish soon. Must not accidentally squish king. That's funny. Oh, oh, the guardian of the 21st gate simmers in hot savory fury. Um, what? Thrashing prawn. Uh, oh. Okay. So we just got to talk to him, and they're gonna let me go all the way to get the pure heart and leave, I assume. But the question is, what happens here? Um, let's just talk to all these guys. Thousand Year Roar. Okay, that's fucking funny. That's funny as hell. Oh my god. And yeah, we got some vibrations going on. I was 21 and 22, so this one should be 23. Do I just gotta make it to 25, which would make it a quarter of the way? But let's just keep talking. I am unshy guy. Fuck, this is so funny. Oh my god. This is the 24th, dude. I am useless batch. Oh, oh my god. Oh god, that is funny. And the 25th guy, uh, Sunshine Flood. Flood. Obviously, another uh, Mario reference. Pretty much, if you like a lot of Mario slash Nintendo games. Oh, and here we go. You'll pretty much get all these references, which I do get, which makes it all the funnier to me. I enjoy this a lot. Believe me. So with the end of the chapter, that will be the end of the episode, and I will see all of y'all next time.